And because the soil is healthier, you're going to have more earthworms in your soil, which your earthworms are your natural rototillers. Good morning, modern studders. The other day when we went to get the supplies to build our chick brooder, I stopped at the post office and I picked up a box that we stored in the cave. And it's time to see what we got in here. What's the temperature in here? It's kind of chilly. 31, so let's close the vent a smidge. There we go. Brr, it's cold in here with a t-shirt. Pluto wants that prosciutto. On the chick brooder, yes, we're going to be putting a floor in, but right now we just built it. We have it set up to try it out. The chicks aren't coming for another three weeks. We're going to be putting something down first. It's most likely going to be cardboard or newspaper, and then we'll put two inches of shavings in there, and then the chicks. But we want to work out all the kinks first, getting it all set up. I'm going to take it apart in another video, store it, because we don't need it here for the next three weeks, and this is not where we're gonna have it set up. This is just where we built it. Should we put Figaro in there, Pluto? You'd have some peace, huh? I'm telling you, the two of those animals are like a cat and a mouse chasing each other. Look, here they go again. Where'd he go, Pluto? They're crazy. Never a dull moment. Let's be careful. We don't want to cut anything. Awesome. I was hoping we were going to get some kind of catalog in here. Maybe not. Yes. No. Yes. You get a catalog. So we ordered two different kinds of seed potatoes from Wood Prairie Organic. They have an awesome catalog. They don't just sell seed potatoes, but their big thing is organic seed potatoes. They give you a growing guide telling you how to plant them, cut them, hilling them, harvesting, storage, pests. We'll keep that handy. The two different kinds of potatoes we got, we got an Elba, which is a handsome, versatile, round white potato. Excellent flavor, baked as well as boiled. And I'll, we'll get into why we chose what we chose for potatoes in a minute. And then we also got the Corolla, which is a yellow potato from Germany. Both smooth, creamy texture and exceptional flavor, suitable for baking or frying. Before I forget, we're just about to hit 20,000 subscribers. We're a little over 150 viewers away from hitting 20,000 subscribers and then we're going to be doing our giveaway. So by the time this video goes live, we're already have gone to hit 20,000 subscribers. So be on the lookout because we're going to be picking a winner and announcing it on our channel pretty soon. Before we get into which kind of potatoes we got and why we got that particular kind, I'm going to talk and give us a little of the backstory of our growing season last year and what I'm doing this year to set us up for better success. Last year we set up a potato tower and we thought we were going to harvest a huge abundance of potatoes. We harvested some potatoes. We got probably 10 pounds, I'd say, of potatoes. It was a decent harvest on what we planted for potato seeds, but it wasn't what we were expecting. People in the comments of our videos were saying you need to get indeterminate potatoes and you got determinate potatoes or vice versa. I'm not 100%, can't remember 100% there. But then I started looking it up and if you Google potato towers and do they work, whether it's on Google or YouTube, everybody comes up saying, oh, it's a fraud, it doesn't work. And then some of the article says it does, you just need the right kind of potato and this is that. So I figured what better way to know for sure than call a potato expert Wood Prairie Farm, Jim. 
I called up Jim and I said, Jim, this is our situation. We're trying to grow potatoes. And I want to know if there's a potato that we can grow in a potato tower for good success. And he said, we've never done much of that. But we had a company in Burlington, Vermont one year. They had an intern order all of our potatoes and do a study to see which ones did the best or which ones worked in a potato tower. I wish I could remember the name of the company, but I can't. And what they found was there was two different kinds of potatoes that did really well in a potato tower. And that was Elba and one other kind. We went with an, the Elba because they're a quick growing potato. So you're gonna have more success at the beginning. So we're trying, what do we have here? We got two and a half pounds of the Elba and we're gonna grow these ones in a potato tower. They were growing theirs in a commercial potato tower. We're not, we're gonna be setting up a cattle panel potato tower like we did last year. So we're gonna be using the Elba for that. I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping it works. We love experimenting here. Or I love experimenting. You know, you gotta have your ups and your downs. Sometimes you gotta have really good luck and sometimes you're not. And you just gotta go with it. So we're not just sticking with one potato this year. We've got two different kinds we're growing and we're gonna try growing two different ways. So this is the Elba. We have our seed potatoes super early for our region. Normally they wouldn't ship them out to us, but I asked him if he would, told him we had a place to store them and keep them around 38 degrees in the cave. And I ordered them this early so we could go over and I could share with you guys what we're doing for our growing season this year with our potatoes. So that way, if you want to try it, if you want to experiment, you have plenty of time to order potatoes for them. The other potato we're going to be growing is the Corolla. I called up, when I called up Jim, I said, Jim, I also want to grow another potato, but I want to set us up for success and not failure. I want a good potato that's going to grow fast. What would you recommend? And he says, if you're new to this, if the people who watch your channel are newer to this, you want a faster producing potato. The biggest reason is, is there's less time for pests to get there and you have to ward up. And you have to worry less about the watering time and how much water they get. They're going to produce faster, so they're not going to be out there experiencing as much climate problems and bug problems. So if you have a faster producing one, you're going to have better success. He recommended a couple of them. I went with the Corolla. We got, in this bag, we got five pounds of potatoes. The reason where we went with five pounds of this kind is on the Corollas, we're gonna be doing the, the traditional planting style of potatoes. That way we'll have a comparison to know. We'll know how well the potato tower did, or if it grew at all. But if it grew, do we get a lot out of it compared to normal growing in our conditions? Because how much potatoes you get is going to be different for you, for your neighbor, for me, for you, depending on which state you're in, what kind of soil you have, how you water them, what kind of potato. So you can't go off of what you got or your neighbor got. You got to kind of know this is my soil. Is this my first time with this soil? Has my neighbor been doing it for a hundred years? Are their great, great, great grandparents been using the same spot? And does their soil have so much organic material and compost in there so they have a head start? So those are the things you gotta think of. You can't compare yourself to somebody else. The best thing to do is to compare yourself to yourself. So when you're starting off, last year you stunk if you didn't do anything. That's your table, zero. The, if you're comparing yourself to yourself for the first time, it's zero. So this coming year, if it's your first growing season, whatever you get is 100% better than what you did the first time. So for us, last year we did meh on potatoes. So this year, if we do awesome, if we do double the amount, that's awesome. So I can't compare myself to you on how you did on your garden last year, your potato harvest. I need to compare myself 
to what I did in the previous years. So that way we don't get knocked down and don't go, oh, well, so-and-so got 100 pounds of potatoes and I only got five. That's all right, it was your first year. Take the lessons, learn what you learned. Maybe you didn't learn something, but maybe something happened to you or this or that happened to you in this growing season. So now it's time to research. Okay, this happened last year. What can I learn from it? Or this didn't work out well for us. What's another way of doing it? And that's what we're doing this year with our potato tower. The potatoes we got last year were just from our local feed store. They just had two different varieties in. They weren't anything special. I grabbed one and planted it. Well, now I know that's not the thing to do. Put a, I needed to put a little bit more time and effort into it, research, and find out what kind of potatoes are gonna work well for our area and for us, for our situation. There's not one cookie cutter box we can put ourselves in. We need to compare ourselves to ourselves and don't beat ourselves up because what we're doing didn't work one year. It could be a variable. It could be the smallest variable. It could be weather. It could be timing. It could be variety. It could be your soil conditions not right yet. You just started with it and you've been adding compost, but you haven't added enough. There could be a big pest problem for that one particular plant that year. It's weird how everything happens. So you gotta stay positive. You gotta remember to keep trying. And that's why I like the word experimenting. You could call it playing, however you wanna put it, but give yourself grace. Let yourself know, hey, just because it didn't do good this year, doesn't mean it's not gonna do well next year. Or last year we had a huge abundance of tomatoes. We grew heirloom tomatoes, and we had great success with the breeds we grew. This year, we're trying to replicate that. We wanna grow the same ones. But for all we know, a tomato blight could come in and wipe out our whole crop. And that's out of our control. Last year, for some reason, might have been a great year for tomatoes for us. Don't know. We did have um, blossom end rot, and that was because we were getting so much rain that the tomato plants were just getting saturated in it and they weren't getting enough calcium. Once we were able to figure that out, sprayed them with calcium and added calcium to the soil, the blossom end rot went away. Just looking quickly at the little handout they put in when you get your potatoes, reading about pests, it talks about pests and what situations you should look out for. Jim is trying to set you up for success too when you order potato seeds with him. He tells you how to plant them, what to expect, what problems to look out for, different things you can do to help avoid some of those. So that's the biggest thing is just always be growing and learning. Don't think what happened this year is going to be the same as next year. I know a lot of the times we want to think it will be if we had a great year. And if we had a bad year, we're kind of like, oh, I, I'm terrible at growing potatoes. I don't have a green thumb. It's not true. The weather conditions have so much to do with it. And that's another great reason to start gardening and start gardening the natural way. The more compost and organic material you have, the more water your soil will hold. And that's good for a few reasons. We'll touch on a couple of them. A couple of them are, so if you get too much rain, your garden soil is going to be like a sponge and it'll be able to absorb it. It won't run off. It'll hold it in. So then when you get a drought, your soil is full of water and nutrients like a sponge that they let seep out over time to feed your vegetable plants. And it works amazing. The more of the compost you have, the better it will be. For every pound of organic material, it'll hold four pounds of water. So that means the less you have to water your plants. The neat thing with that is the roots grow deeper because the plants have to work to get water. So the roots grow deeper down into the soil. You're gonna get a stronger plant because it's, the roots are deeper. It's gonna get more nutrients. So it's gonna be a better vegetable plant for you to eat in return, which is awesome. And because the soil is healthier, you're gonna have more earthworms in your soil which your earthworms are your natural rototillers. So the worms are gonna be coming up from deep down, aerating the soil and rototilling it for you, pooping their way up and adding more compost for you. 
The worms are going to be enriching your soil with more nutrients and they're going to be making your soil softer for a depth, more depth to the soil. So you'll be able to grow more plants and more plants better. So keep experimenting every year. Try something new. Keep growing and adding to your soil and every year it's going to get better and better. One year one crop's going to do better than the other one and vice versa. If you plan on getting into growing potatoes this year, I recommend checking out their website. I'll put a link to it in the description down below. If you order one of their catalogs, it says right here on the back, if you're a first time customer, you get $5 off. Well, that's awesome. And I was in the catalog, I'll show you a couple of things quickly. They have their key and it says, one is for easy to grow, another key means heirloom, and aloha means they're amazing to eat. That's always a good thing. We're doing this so we can have good food. But they have in their catalog, lets you know all about the different varieties they have. We've grown in the past the blue and purple potatoes from them. That was kind of neat. They have blue, purple potatoes, so it's kind of fun for the kids. So I recommend going on over, checking out their website, getting a catalog, and just looking through it. If you have questions, call up Jim. They had He's very knowledgeable and he was great to talk to on the phone. So if you do that, let him know. Al from Lumna Acres says hello. If you have any more gardening questions or potato questions, leave them in the comments down below. We'll try to get to them. Now is a perfect time to hit the subscribe button. While you're down there, ring the bell. That'll turn on notifications and let you know every time we upload a video, go live, or post something to our community tab. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. What do you think you're doing? We've got one of them lying down sleeping, and the other one causing mischief. Yeah. Don't even think about it, mister. I'm talking to you. Yep. Hey. Listen here, mister. This is where you belong.